As you're waiting, there's somebody comes in and it looks like they're having a stroke now. Why do ER wait times get so long? Good question. So it's, it's multifactorial. So it's, it's all based on illness and injury, acuity, queuing. So if you come into the emergency department and have what looks like a 15 minute wait and you have a low acuity illness or injury. As you're waiting there, somebody comes in and it looks like they're having a stroke now. That patient gets in front of us and then two other people come in and they're having chest pain. Well, they may not be sick enough to go immediately right back, but that chest pain is a higher illness or injury cue or acuity issue than what you have with the sprained ankle. And so each time they leapfrog in front of you, they keep pushing you back. Mm -hmm. And then that reaches, as you can imagine, a saturation point when everything is full and people that need to be admitted, there's nowhere to go, so they stay longer. And so those beds, there were 10 beds that were open that we were turning over, you know, you know, very within an hour or so after some of the, the lower acuity presentations. Now we're maybe down to four. Now we're maybe down to two. Maybe down to one. Now we're opening up the hallways, mm -hmm. you know, and so on and so forth. And so then after, you can imagine several days of this, the waiting room just backs up. And then where we are now, and then, then we don't even talk about transfers in from other hospitals that get come in from a, you know, lower, you know, mm. lower resourced hospitals or EMS patients I get that jump the line uh, that come in you know, because of what they present with. And so all of these add up and contribute to the longer wait times. Mm.